girl city and welcome back to my channel today i was planning to do a get ready with me sort of video or somewhat a talk through video where i'll show you how i do my rainy day season or tag ulan or iwas hulas makeup but i was rudely interrupted by heavy rain like sobrang lakas niya na hindi ako makapagsimula kasi nakikipaglaban sa akin yung tunog ng ulan so what i did is to just film the application process and I'm just gonna walk you through some mga products na ginamit ko. And I'm also gonna insert some clips on how I applied them just so you will have an idea. Right now, halos araw-araw na lang umuulan. Parang ina-anticipate mo na na uulan kasi it's June, July, August. Yung season na yun, alam natin na dun pinakamaraming typhoon, pinaka-rainy. So I think this video is just perfect. And this is the finished look that I did. If you want to see how I completed this rainy season or rainy season friendly look, just keep on watching. Nga pala, just for reference, I have really oily skin. So, mapapansin nyo lahat ng mga products na ginamit ko are either mattifier or oil control yung binibigay niya. So, let me start with the primer that I use. Um, this is the Quick FX No Shine Mattifier. Alam ko, marami na sa inyo yung familiar sa product na to kasi highly raved about to by other YouTubers. Ako, gustong gusto ko to for everyday kasi hindi siya mahirap gamitin. It's very straightforward. Siguro ang tip lang na mabibigay ko sa inyo if you're looking for the mattifying effect of this one. Observe ko sa product na to. Kapag masyado ka maraming ginamit or masyado ka maraming nilagay sa face mo, that's the time that nag oil up lalo yung mukha mo. So just use a very tiny amount on your forehead, on your cheeks, and then your chin, and then some here. Ako dito lagi ako naglalagay kasi madalas oily ako dito sa part na to. So that's the primer. Next one, I'm gonna show you the foundation I use. I really like this foundation. This one is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. 24 hour foundation. Para sa akin yung tinatagal niya before oil starts to build up on my face. Mga nasa 7 to 8 hours. So, I don't really believe in the 24-hour claim. Maybe it's just me kasi sobrang oily na face ko. But, but I think it's a good foundation in general kasi so far wala pa tumatagal sa akin na mga 8 hours bago ako nag-oil up. Usually, it's just 4 to 6 hours and you can see grease all over my face already. So, this one is a really good foundation. It lays on your face really nicely. I just think that you have to work in section. What I do, as you will see on the application video, naglagay muna ako dito sa part to na to ng face ko before I buff it out and then put it on the rest of my face. I think this is perfect for the rainy season kasi iwas hulas talaga tong foundation na to. Like, kakapit talaga siya. Especially when you're using this at work, this will last you for about 8 hours kung oil control yung nahanap mo. Pero if you have like normal skin, uh, or dry to normal skin as long as you moisturize properly iwas mulas talaga to best so I like this one for concealer I use the Maybelline fit me in the shade light I just put it underneath my eyes my forehead my chin my nose and then blend it out it acts as a perfect base for my makeup to set my face is also a mattifying product this one is the essence all about matte fixing compact powder. So, ayan lang siya. Translucent siya. Pero, for me, meron siya konting konting white cast. So, I use it to set my under eye today and also dust it all over my face. One thing na na-notice ko dito, nagtatagal din siya. And I like this. It's just easy to bring, easy to work with, no fuss powder in general. I find na pag ginagamit ko to, especially on the under eye area, nasa-smoothin niya yung look ng under eye ko and sa ibang parts din ng face ko. So, para nakaka-poreless siya minsan. So, I like it. And it's also really inexpensive. 249 pesos lang to. For contour, I use the EB Advance Blush Duo in Baked Fig. I really like the combination of these two kasi yung bronzer niya or yung bronzer niya is warm and then yung um, eye, eyeshadow, no, yung blush niya is cool tone. So, maganda siya. Nasa-show siya as you can see sa camera. Pag ito yung gamit ko, napapansin ko meron pang natitira throughout the rest of the day and that is a plus for me. Powder highlight, I use this e.l.f. Total Face Palette. 
I use this um, highlighter right here. This one, subtle lang yung highlight na binibigay nito. Like, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Binibigyan ka lang niya ng glow from within, which I like. E, pero kung on fleek yung highlight mo, tapos naulanan ka, best parang mukha kang mukha kang basang-basa lalo. So, I think a subtle highlight will do kung maulan and lalo na kung nagko-commute ka kasi baka mapagkamalan ka lalong basang-basa naman yung mukha mo kung sobrang foil or wet looking ng highlight mo. For eyeshadow, I just went for a really simple look. I used um, four shades from this Beauty Creations Irresistible Palette. Sobrang inexpensive lang ng palette na to and you get a lot of colors right here. Um, I use Touch Me all over my lid, Bare on my crease, True Love on my inner corner, and then Naked on my brow bone. So, yun lang. Super dali nitong gamitin. If you're a beginner, I suggest that you pick this one up. Meron ka ng mga neutral shades, meron kang browns, meron kang reds, and pinks to work with, and that's just perfect for me. As long as you put concealer underneath, nakakapita ng shadow, I think it would definitely last for a good amount of time. For my lids and my waterline, I use the EB Pro Liner Waterproof in the shade Chocolate. Maganda siya sa waterline kasi parang soft lang siya, unlike kapag black yung ginamit mong liner, parang medyo intense. So for every day, I feel like this will be a good one just to make you look more awake. Especially ako, so maliit yung mata ko and then kapag ginagamit ko siya sa waterline, medyo bumubuka siya ng konti which is good. And it's also waterproof. That means hindi ka niya bibigyan ng raccoon eyes. And I also put it on my lids. Hindi ako naglagay ng gel liner. Ito lang yung nilagay ko. And then gumamit ako ng brush to smudge it. And okay naman siya. Now for the brows, I went for my favorite. This one is EB Advance Eyebrow Kit. I use this shade right here and the wax. And here's what my kilay looks like. Pantay ba sila? But anyway, I love this. This lasts on me for the whole day. Considering na powder and wax lang siya, nagtatagal siya talaga sa akin ng matagal talaga. As in, hanggang pag-uwi ko, like, pag magtatanggal na ako ng makeup, talagang very pigmented pa siya dyan sa part na yan. And ang dami ko pang natatanggal. Which means na hindi siya agad humuhula. So I think, if you're someone na very concerned with your brows, I think this one is a good option. For mascara, of course, I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This one, sobrang palaban talaga to. Pangharabas talaga to best. Like, umulan, bumagyo. Feeling ko hindi to matatanggal agad. It's super waterproof. Like, ang hirap nga niyang tanggalin. If you want something na maglalast talaga sa'yo, kahit bumabagyo pa yan, gusto mo yung lashes mo on fleek, I suggest this one. And I also made a review on this. Just in case you haven't seen it, I'll link it here or down below. So make sure to check it out. This one is just an absolute favorite of mine. You can also use the Maybelline Hyper Curl for a more subtle looking lashes. Pero if you're gonna ask me which one will last me or which one I'd prefer for something waterproof, I'll go for this one. Kasi ang hirap niya talaga ang tanggalin and... Kung susungong ka sa bagyo, susungong ka sa ulan, why not use this? Because it's gonna last you forever. For my lip color, I used the Careline Kiss Sticks in the shade Vacay. I also made a review on this if you haven't seen that. This one, after using it almost every day, ever since I got it, napapansin ko talaga, it lasts me a good amount of time. Kahit kumakain ako, siguro it takes me mga dalawang kainan bago talaga siya mabura. And even if mabura siya, dun lang sa inner parameters ng lips ko, dito sa outer corner, or yeah, sa outer corner, hindi siya agad nabubura. And even if mabura siya, nagli-leave siya ng subtle tint, which I like, kasi hindi ganun kaputla yung lips ko after niyang mag-fade. So, I really like this. I think it's worth every penny, and I especially like the shade Vacay. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope to see you on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!